Yes, and she goes now, just five behind. And still plenty of time. Get up there. Oh, here we go. Give it a hit, Ernie. On the team from South Africa, Ernie Els. Ever Robson, the pride of Moffat. Big day for Ernie. I know he's been there and won three great championships. I was saying earlier, he still gets nervous. He thinks. He's got a good one left in him. Steady. Oh, just like Wimbledon in slow motion. Up we go. Where is it, Ernie? Is it online? It could be very good. 30. Nicely done. Has he, has he, has he? Oh, Ernie, Ernie. That would have been a lovely start. Just needs that putter to heat up if he's to have any chance. As we mentioned, more greens in regulation than anyone. Get some ready. Looking down the left. 320 yards to a couple of bunkers cool. down the left, though. Uh, he's not too happy with it. Go on, skip up. Soft landing. Can't afford to give a single inch today if he's going to win this championship. Test his short stick again. Bit of good fortune for Ernie at the third. He's dodged past that bunker. Trying to chase that one in. And sure did. Oh, just hang on. You can hear the gallery murmuring. They know what's going to happen. Just hangs on the edge. That's a good shot from there. Birdie chance at the third. Doesn't give many of those away today. And it might. It's coming oh, back. Left it short at one. Can then it right in the jaws. That one the same. I saw his, when he's quoting the paper, said he's feeling good. Feels something special might happen. It's ten years on since Muirfield. Well, Ernie's probably the only man in the field that could see the top of the flag once he'd addressed that shot. And he's done it very nice indeed. 153 yards that was. Good 30 opportunity for him. Hit it, hit it, hit it, hit it. Yeah, three, three out of four now, yeah. Yes, it's uh, been an interesting last hour with the leaders going out. Got this fifth hole at full stretch, Peter. Yes, back it's the a, back left. Ernie's hit some nice shots, isn't he, the first two or three holes? But yeah, three out of four putts uh, left short, though. Tiger's had a nice couple of breaks. He started with three pars. Yeah. Now, can any uh, a simple chip, plenty of room, just oh, a little stab over a poor lie. Oh, you have to work. Oh, about that. oh. 
Yeah, that made him think. He had to land at about you know, a yard or two left to the, uh, the bunker there. Well, a driver for Ernie here, and it's down at the right. Very easily reachable, but this wind is pushing these golfers' balls towards the bunkers down the left. It's not an easy shot to find the fairway, I would fancy. Won't reach them there, I can tell you. Third shot, Ernie Ells, the par five, seventh. Only now to get to five under. You left a lot of putts short, and then of course you have a little dart at it, and it drifts a yard, but a little bit by, and you think, why did I do that? should come off there. Flag right on the front, nine on five off the right hand side. There's a got to be careful. I'm looking at the wrong thing. I got Saturday's pin sheet here. How am I going? <laughs> Ernie Els for birdie, and he did a lovely wedge shot in. And he's just, just slid by. Difficult for these players at the moment, they're just not sure how this stands. Adam Scott out on his own in front. Still feasible that six under par could win this championship. Interesting call from David Howard. It's felt all along that if the wind does blow, there could be not very many people under par at the end of the day. The wind is whipping across a little bit. I'd be very disappointed if he doesn't manage to make three here. Well, Ernie's given himself a few chances on the front nine. Not close range, but... 15, 18 footers. And here is Ernie. Well, that was for a par. Shot dropped. Getting to a stage now where nobody wants to, seemingly nobody wants to grab this great championship by the scruff of the neck and then out. Working their way out to the far end of the course, turning for home and facing nine very formidable holes. Well played. Very nice. He's just been creeping along just out of reach of the leaders throughout the week. Zach Johnson missed his birdie putt here on the 10th, playing partner Ernie Els to get to four. Yes, in she goes now, just five behind. And still plenty of time. Back into the breeze and... Two enormous hits today there on 11, and it's not bad. Up and down to get within four.
pitch a little bit long here on 11 and just left himself too much to do for that birdie. And that'll be disappointing. Two good shots to get it just up in front of the green. Just got to make a couple more birdies, Andy, and you'll never know. Fortunately, not a brutal hole location, but uh, breeze hard left to right. Get up there. Oh, here we go. Ernie Ells to get within four. And he's done it. Yeah. And he's quite a few holes ahead. So. Yeah, I was going to add that. We had a significant point. His, he is now starting the big run in. 13 on. He's been, well, that's very short into the breeze. Tricky, but then after, after that, 14 in. It's a you know, level fours. It will be really good. 13 always offers a birdie opportunity. Shortish par four. Always. Well, into easy, this little breeze, Ken. Easier than most. Yeah, I got five bunkers hidden over that wispy fescue grass, grass there down the right-hand side. Well, it is a birdie chance, but it's a much more difficult tee shot than it's been all week into off the right. Man, he's done that beautifully. Slap bang in the middle of the fairway. I'm going to pin up from there for Ernie. Lovely stuff. Another birdie opportunity. Now Ailes on the 14th. 14 now downwind today. And they've got to calculate the bounce here. And he's done it beautifully. Nice to drive. Probably hit that 350 yards. Looks good. Four, three birdies. And the Edward nine just three behind. There's only man, Peter, out of 15 guys at the top of the leaderboard is uh, under par. Yep. Here is Ernie. Very difficult tee shot at 15. Left to right wind. Gaping bunkers down the right hand side of the fairway. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Well, in the lap of the gods, don't think he can reach from there, but you never know. If that long fescue wraps around the hosel, could go left. So you kind of really hang on to you watch the follow through. Um, pretty decent, really. Rescue kind of grabs, well, obviously grabs the hosel. It comes as a real shock how much it tugs at the uh, at the bottom of the club. You have to react with your hands very quickly to save it. Okay, Ernie Els. Nearest pursuer to Adam Scott. It's really chipping time now, isn't it? Steady. One of the best in the business. And that's just left him uh, seven or eight feet past. And he has. Well done, Ernie. A pitch in the putt for a four. And one of the hardest uh, holes on the inward run. Now, who knows? Well, every credit to whoever set the pins. This is a cracking pin for the final day. Front left on 16. And the wind is just perfect for these players to have a go at this par four. Ernie's going to do exactly that. 
His yeah, championship for- hopes could rest on the result of this yeah, shot. Yeah, fortunately they can just see the flag fluttering uh, on that front corner of the green. 330 yards plus away. And he made a fabulous eagle. Oh, I hate it when he stands up like that. That means it's going right. Oh, in the hay, into the gallery. On the trample bit, I fancy. Yeah, yeah that's where... Uh, could be awkward. Yeah, I think that's where Harrington went yesterday and did that. Now, Ernie, got to keep steady on this. And... Oh, he's actually going to do a Yeah, chip it through the bunkers. Beautifully done, scary shot. Reminded me of Seve as a young man at Birkdale, chipping it through the bunkers. Now all you've got to do Ernst, is tap it in. And you can do that. Well, Ernie's... Get to seven, get it there Ernie, get it there. Oh my goodness. So... But Adam making his part, Ernie not. 195 for Ernie after a marvellous tee shot. Just needs to find a birdie. Oh, it's good, middle of the green. It's an outside chance. That's very good. He's done what he's got to do. He's got it on the putting surface, 30 feet for a. An opportunity, six under with Scotty in the bunker on 15. Give it a hit, Ernie. And Scotty's only about 15 yards from the screen too, Brownie. This is a, a daunting drive. Absolutely no loss than a part of Is it coming back? Beauty from Els. Yeah, that couldn't have been placed in a better spot. Pin in a nice open position. Ernie, how about holding your second? Yeah. Which is the hardest tee shot on 18? You think? I think Muirfield is. Ernie won there in 02. Yeah, right. Muirfield's a tough one. St Andrews is the easiest, I know that. <laughs> <laughs> on the 18th. 100 yards dead for Ernie. Get close onto the crowd, tries to hold it in there. He doesn't know he is only two behind at the moment. What a record this man has in the Open Championship. He was the winner at Muirfield in 2002. He's come so close on other occasions. That playoff in 2004, and he's close again. He's finished second at Lytham before. He's finished third at Lytham before. He hasn't finished first. I think he has to hold this. Well, don't go out wondering. It is good from Ernie Els. He still has a chance. A wondrous putt in the final green, a great round from Ernie Els. And it may not, may not be his final shot today. The old Ernie. <laughs> what a wonderful performance from Ernie Els. A round of 68, home in 32, four under par in the back nine. Wonderful effort, Ernie. 2002 champion at Muirfield in a playoff, two-time US Open champion in the doldrums for quite a few years. It's come back and started to play some wonderful golf, and what a day today. Absolutely no, no margin error.
pace and line. Well, Sounds a bit obvious. Yeah, well, everything's got to be right this time. Everything's got to be stroke, spot on. Breathing. This is it. This to tie. Ernie else wins. Congratulations, Ernie. And Adam Scott's going to be scarred for life. Ernie's the champion. And uh, everyone will face an interview at the end. The summer, the summer will be very painful. And have this great elation. 273. The winner of the gold medal. And the champion golfer of the year is Ernie Elst.